we release the volume up to there. Okay. So making sure that everything's working properly because we haven't done this in a while, right guys? So here we are. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Devil Cellar. My name is Rodrigo Raikio, and I'm here to introduce you to another classic video game. Nothing else than the video game called Final Fight, released by Capcom back in 1991. Was it 1991? <coughs> I believe so. Anyways, it's been a long time that I haven't actually streamed any video games lately. Like, you know, like for, I would say, for more than a month. And the reason is, is because... Uh, my girlfriend and I, we moved to a new location, right, like a more central, right to the heart of Hamilton, which is something like a, it was really smart to do, like a, to live right in the downtown area of a Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. And the thing about it is, uh, right now, um, I just finished doing most of my setup, right, with my sound equipment and all these things, and uh, you know, for this entire past months, I was just working in organizing things around, because I was started to live here technically on April the 1st. Anyways, so we are here and uh, and I remember that I had to catch up with a couple of episodes here that it was actually related to the to the whole video game thing, right? Uh, <laughs> ro, 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 ro. <laughs> Ay, salud. <laughs> Gracias, Johnny. <laughs> and thank you so much, Chris, as well, <laughs> for your comments. Um, the whole thing is uh, I didn't have the time like to finish the last two episodes in the former Devil Cellar, right? So what I decided to do is like a, I say, okay, like a, there's only two episodes left in order to finish the 15 episodes of the season number two of the Devil Cellar Classic video games. So, um, now that I'm more arranged, less stressed, and I'm willing to start with my whole thing of activities like a, you name it, like a playing keyboards, DJing, anything, doing anything possible, and video games mainly, I decided to basically like to just uh, resume every single activity that I'm dedicated to. So I say to myself, you know what, we're gonna make it very special today because also like a, it was a very shitty day like a, between Toronto and Hamilton because there was so much, it was so windy out there that there were uh, some, if you wanna call it some fabulous disaster out there because like it just a, the wind was so strong it was like a, bringing uh, you know the shingles of the roof like a, of the homes out there like a, they were flying two places, like a lots of disasters, okay, going on. So I decided to remain at home and to work in my stuff, like I get it more ready and settled. I know I haven't unpacked everything, but it's most of it going all right. And the whole idea is like to start doing um, the video games again, like the whole activities I'm trying to catch up with, right? All right, so let's start with the video game right away because like we can know waste so much time either right i know you guys have been waiting for a long time for this so let's do this all right so this is final fight by capcom let's add the credits to it right and we're gonna start right away here and who are we gonna start with well we're gonna play with the three characters uh, to go all the way to the end right so i'm gonna start first with guy and there we go all right so, Guy is a fighter who practices ninjutsu, right? Oh, oh, what the hell? That guy sneak a punch on me? How dare you? Like, usually I get that part perfect. What the fuck? That's embarrassing. Okay, this is another video game that I haven't played in a while, but still, like, I know how to play it. That's for sure. Alright. Let's get this sucker there. Alright. <laughs> Now, oh, kind of beer, hamburger, oh man, I'm in for a treat, <laughs> right after dinner. This is not helping, it's not helping with my diet. Oh my god, Axel, really? What the hell? Yeah, I know, Jacob, like, I, I totally hear you, like, I was freaking crazy everywhere, like, it was, as I said to you before, like, it's... It was a fabulous disaster, like a matter of nature is really mad at the world, that's for sure. And don't even ask me like what we have done to the world, we have been cruel to the world, we should be much more nicer to it. There we go. Alright. Here we go, alright. 
We got that dude there. Oh! We're almost saying, god dang. The knife to him. There you go. Ugh. So we go to the next part of it, right? <laughs> Why don't you put a porno movie better? Johnny, what the hell is wrong with you? That's for later, dude. Like, it's too early for it. <laughs> it's for much later. So... So what is it? That? <laughs> yeah, that's my brother Johnny, by the way. <laughs> like, my older brother, he's crazier than me. <laughs> he's 10 years older than me, but he's even crazier. So imagine when I'm gonna be 10 years older, probably I'm gonna be much crazier too. <laughs> Crazier than what I am. <laughs> All right, so we got this guy here. Oh, watch out for that one. Oh, did you see that? This is the the best part of the video game, eh? When you get uh, that that part that you throw someone and they just say all of them they fall together. Here you go. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh yes, nice. Oh my god, like he got me with the flame part there. Alright, almost done here. Okay. There we go! <laughs> yes! We got him! <laughs> Johnny, you're hilarious, man. <laughs> so funny. Alright, so here we go. Oh, my. She got some long legs to reach me, eh? Did you notice that? Yes. Now, you wonder how I did that move over there? It's a, when you jump, you hold down and you press the, the punch, like the hit movement, right? Like, you go like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, you fucking asshole. Oh. Oh! Oh, what the hell? He sneak a punch on, right on me. Take. And that's Hugo. I don't know why they, they call him uh, Andori uh, in this video game. When his real... Also, his name is Hugo in the Street Fighter 3. Mm, I don't know. This, uh, like, never got the idea of it. Alright, so we hop on the train now. This is the Toronto subway, Toronto Hall subway, which got many of my friends stuck for an hour, I believe. Like some of them, they were going to a concert or something, and the power was out for some reason. Yeah, a friend of mine, Alan, he, he was playing a show tonight, and actually they couldn't play the show because uh, the the power went out in the entire Kensington market. Just to let you guys know, it's see, like I get all the news from everywhere, so Tyson don't have to be at places. Because I'm always uh, reading and keeping track with my friends uh, to see what's going on. But anyways, I, while like over here I'm getting my ass kicked, right? Like, you guys are safe, at least. <laughs> right? So I'm the one here fighting. Oh man! That guy, Axel, he's freaking... Uh, he's a hard-headed motherfucker. Oh, so many of them. Thank. Oh. There we go. Okay, we cleared the pass already. Fucking love the sound actually of uh, my computer nowadays. I mean, kind of uh, because I, I tweak a few things, right? Like a... With my with my computer, I mean, like a getting more used to it, like a, with the stuff that I mean uh, using on it in regards to the my multi track and uh, everything else uh, in regards to the sound equipment that I'm using. So this is helping out big time since I have also like a something that I can be able to speak to. And I lost my first credit, so here I go again. Uh, so this time I'm gonna choose a uh, Cody. So we're gonna go in order. Now, Cody specializes much more in the punches, right? He is the guy who eventually gets incarcerated. And uh, you know what? I forgot the reason why he gets incarcerated for. Like, does anybody know this story about Cody at all? Because I remember um, when he appeared in Street Fighter, he was incarcerated. Like, he was uh, with a ball and chain. And also, he was a... Uh, 
what is it like uh, with the with the clothing you know like uh, with the stuff like uh, what they use in, in jail right so I never understood the reason why like uh, he got uh, incarcerated for it. what was so bad that he did he's supposed to be like a hero right and uh, eventually it didn't happen that way. oh my god what the hell was that Come me some slack here. There you go. Okay, here we go. Take. Gonna get it now. Up. Oh. And another one. Ooh. Yes. There we go. All right. Yes, I do a stream on Twitch, but what happens is that when I'm recording right now on Facebook, I uploaded it later on on Twitch. Like I don't, sometimes I I do the streaming live directly to Twitch, but I just don't like it because I have more followers on Facebook. So I really like it to have more followers uh, through Facebook because my close friends, they know exactly what I'm about and what I'm into. So the thing is that they can be able to witness it much quicker than Instagram and just having random strangers that probably they might not even follow my channel at all. So, but uh, you guys feel free to add me on, on Twitch. And if you want to follow ins, I can actually, uh, I can follow you right away. Like, uh, just say, uh, drop your, your message on the comment section. Like, uh, drop your Twitch channel address and I'm going to go and visit it right after. And I'm going to add you guys so I can be able to follow as well your gameplay. Um, so the only thing is, uh, as I say to you, I don't really do the thing. Yeah, Twitch is super hard. Like, that's for sure. Like, I'm reading the comments right now because I have the iPad next to me. And I'm going to post this for a little bit before I'm going into the fight with Sodom. Um, what happens is, uh, he here's the situation with the whole thing. Thank you so much, Suji. I really appreciate it. Kiss. Mwah! Thank you so much. Now, one of the reasons why, like, the, the Twitch, see, I was trying this thing, like, that's called the Follow the Train on Twitch. Follow Train uh, dot TV, I believe. And the thing is, uh, I tried to get like a, on the on the train thing where basically they put you almost in a VIP section. And the, what happens is uh, the, the people there, they don't really help you out. Like, I mean, kind of uh, sometimes someone is going to be watching, but at the same time, they don't give you likes. They don't leave comments. So I like more the interaction with Facebook right now because uh, I see there are two people actively watching this video. But at the same time. Uh, what is that? I'm getting to respond that. See, Cyberballs TV? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna add you like as soon as I get off from here because uh, in the next hour is when I had to upload the video for my archives, right? So that's where, what exactly I do with Twitch channel. The, um, that's how I put them all together, the seasons, uh, the 15 episodes of each season that I host for the Devil Cellar and classic video games. So it makes it much easier, and I also, like, I share it on Twitter, I put it also on Pinterest, and at the same time, I get to upload it to my YouTube channel, which is uh, also based on the Devil Seller for my own business. So everything goes, like, a, uh, I get many views as well on YouTube, but it's really hard as well, so it's not nothing really certain. The the worst part is that if you play the, one of the most popular video games, don't think that actually you're going to get more followers because you're playing one of the latest or most popular video games out there. It's going to be worse actually because there's more competition out there because everybody else is playing the same video game. So sometimes it doesn't even help out either one way or the other. So in my case, on the channel of the Devil Seller Classic Video Games, I try to touch uh, more like a, uh, to rescue vi video games that they haven't been like a uh, review by others, or maybe they have been reviewed some of them, of course, I go between underground and popular, but at the same time, it's uh, just to provide a variety of the stuff that I'm really into, like uh, to to host, you know, to, to stream, because I want people to have fun and also like to study different stuff that because everybody has a different projection of how to play video games as well, right? So others enjoy watching it. But anyways, oh, trust me, like I know, like whenever I play PUBG or Fortnite, I like if I get any followers, that's truth. You're totally right. But anyways, Matt, we're going to continue with the video game. Now Now you get the idea about the reason why sometimes it's kind of like a really hard like to get the many followers. 
So I thank so much like to every single person on Facebook watching my videos and following with it because at least uh, I get like a minimum of a uh, hundred to two hundred uh, views alone like uh, on uh, on Facebook in so something that I'm not really getting on YouTube or or Twitch or anything else, right? So let's go, let's go and kick some ass because uh, Sodom is really waiting with those two savers. But first, ah, some ice cold tea. Made by my lovely Sujita. This is this is like my energy drink. Anyways, here we go. Alright, so this guy is not an easy fella. He's a very greasy motherfucker. And don't take him for granted because uh, he doesn't have the swords with him. Alright, so here we go. Now we're gonna choose Hagger. Right. All right, here we go. See that bastard? How he goes like a suddenly like that? Oh yeah! Oh my god! He got me right there, eh? See, like the way he is. Yes. All right, so we killed them already. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Totally. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we go. So we are going on this part here. Now, as you notice, it's not breaking anymore from that part. So what you do is uh, you switch on the side and then you start like a breaking it on the other side. It's the same like a Street Fighter, basically, you know, it's Capcom. What, what else can we expect, right? So here we go. Come on. Yeah, see? It's the same current that actually we get to break like uh, during the uh, Street Fighter 2. The you know the ah which all the versions of Street Fighter oh 2 basically. God. It appears the car and then it appears the barrels and all of that. So anyway, so here we go. So the version I'm playing is uh, the United States uh, version. And it's funny because I remember the saying of that guy who said like, oh my god, who was really, you know, concerned about his car getting destroyed by by my player. And he says, uh, I believe in the other one, he says like, uh, he doesn't even say God because like uh, for some reason, like, uh, you know, some people, they would, uh, it would produce a certain controversy at the time. So in certain versions of video games, they would change things around, right? So in this one, he, he says, oh my God. In the other one, he says like, a, uh, oh no. Yeah, that's the other one that he says. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. No. Oh. This guy is hard, man. Oh, get the fuck out. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna go back to guy. Alright. Wow. <laughs> One hit and that was it. Damn. Should we go with the sword? Yeah, why not? I look better with it, eh? <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> Alright, so here we are at the bar. And myself, I don't go usually to bar, so I was invited to go to a bar now, but I go like a meh. I'd rather to be playing video games on a Friday night, you know, because it's much more fun. My girlfriend has to wake up early in the morning anyway, so I'd rather just to be at home and I got more shit to do tomorrow and the weekend as well. On the weekend, on Sunday, I'm DJing again, like a uh, decent Hollywood, for the e fundraising event called the South Lake. Actually, this ain't Star Lake. That's how it's called the fundraiser event. I DJ there like a last Sunday, and I'm gonna do it again uh, upon request and demand for the satisfaction of uh, people that they had like in regards to the music that I was playing that day, which was a combination between funk, soul, and disco. And then like, uh, how did I end up my my set list on that day by 3 p.m. Uh, what I did is uh, there was a punk show taking place on that day. So what I did is uh, I switched the music like to all the uh, punk and metal and and grind crust and all together. So basically that's how I ended up like the whole entire disco thing. <laughs> but anyway, so that was a lot of fun, and now I'm gonna do it again. 
on this uh, Sunday. So come guys uh, to, to for a delicious brunch prepared by the guys of uh, Salt Lake and the event called This Ain't Salt Lake that is going to take place at This Ain't Hollywood. It's going to go from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you guys are the worst. Okay. Here we go. Because they don't give me enough life either, right? But they take a bunch of freaking energy from you, that's for sure. By the way, this uh, Sunday I'm performing as a, the usual DJ Nocturne, the one and only, right? There was a rip offer from um, from Montreal who wanted to take my name. Actually, he wasn't even from Montreal. He was from somewhere in Quebec, in a ski resort. This guy, he wanted, he called himself a DJ Nocturne out of nowhere. And myself, I've been the DJ Nocturne since 2012. So I don't understand why some random fucker would, would, would try to take my name. Anyways, my name is a uh, copyrighted, definitely, because like uh, I protect my entire licensing on everything, right? So all businesses that I promote or run, like uh, they're all under registration because uh, that's the way I work. I like to take things pro in that in that sense. So nobody else uh, discredits me from what I have created. And in another thing, let's see. Oh, did I did I tell you guys when I got removed actually the girl bladder? Like that was two weeks ago, but I'm fully actually I almost forgot about it because I, I am fully recovered from it. It took me a few days to recover from it, so that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, here I am, like, and I'm riding my bicycle again. I just picked it up uh, the other day, and I'm gonna start very soon, like, uh, riding the longboard. So I'm looking forward to it. I just gotta get the rest of my equipment, uh, which is I'm waiting for the shipment. And I'm gonna be ready to start with my activities again. Now, we lost in this part here against the corrupt cop over there. See, like, he kind of like. He's a big pig, too. Like, like, it's a pig? Yeah, of course. They are not in us pigs. Like... <laughs> Alright. So... Oh my god. He got a lot of bullets, that's for sure. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's it. See? Like, he, such a pussy, man. Like, he... He's just running away from me. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, of course. Benjamin, you're fucking nice. Of course, man. I know it. You are from Montreal. Like, I didn't say anything about Montreal like, being bad. Like, you know. I was talking about the, this guy who was trying to steal my artist name. But he wasn't from Montreal, he was uh, from Quebec, like uh, somewhere, like uh, he he was playing in a ski resort or something. Hey, what the hell like with this thing here? I'm trying to go through, and uh, it's fucking glitching me with the flame. What the hell is that thing? Did you know this guy, that, that guys? Okay, here we go again. See? That's a fucking glitch right there. That doesn't work that way. Look at that. What the fuck's that? Let me go through, motherfucker. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck you, okay. Like, what the fuck is that shit? Look at that. Do you see? I never seen that, that glitch before in this video game. Like, eat shit, come on. What the hell? By the way, I fucking love Montreal, man. Like, uh, Montreal is one of my favorite cities to visit, you know? Party is fucking awesome all the time there. I always have a great time and, and memories from the city there. And also, like, you know, I tell my friends who has never been in Montreal, you need to go for at least, like, a minimum of four days in order to have, like, a, a decent amount of time, like, to explore the city around and everything because there is a lot of fascinating activities to do over there, especially this summer. Looking forward to the summer, for sure. I would love to end up in Montreal again. Why the hell no? Maybe go, like, to the Rockfest, or go to heavy Montreal or whatever thing comes along the way. So we'll see. And that's still uh, under 
one of the plans I have under my sleeve, so I will see if it happens or not, right? But I would love to see all my friends from Montreal again. Especially the band Anonymous. Like that's why I wanna uh, my I got a few friends from from, uh, from that band as well. Who I still in touch with them for many years. Especially Carlos Araya, he's a uh, from Chile, he's a uh, he's a drummer of the band of uh, Anonymous. Oh shit. Alright, so hey my other brother is watching me. Hey Lorenzo! <laughs> oh crap! Okay, here we go again. Now, we go back to Cody. So... Okay, no! There! <laughs> I avoided that, that was good. I came in on the precise moment. Ah oh, no, what the hell? He really killed me with that one. Thing is that the video game in a certain way it starts getting boring eventually because then you start finding the same characters coming over and over again and the only thing that changes is the final bosses of each stage. So what you do in this situation, um yeah like uh, we how many stages is it again? Is it like uh, six of them? So right now we're going on, on three of them. Ooh, watch out for those. Watch out for the rocket All right, and boop. there you go, Simons. Hee hee. All right. So where are we going now? Oh, oh, we're gonna face Rolento, I believe. Are we? Okay. Yeah, there's Rolento. Okay, Rolento is a is a like a green beret type of guy, and uh, he actually he throws a bunch of grenades. And he's also one of the characters who appears in Street Fighter Zero or Street Fighter Alpha, if you wanna call it, right? Like the beginnings of uh, the whole thing. Let me see, I'm reading that Benjamin, by the way, like uh, the, your comment about Anonymous. So basically the the jam like a fight also <laughs> very cool. So they are nearby, like to uh, from from your rehearsal space. Very nice. So there's a uh, Rolento, right? He's actually originally from Italy, I believe, this character. And uh, he's a dangerous fella. Like uh, he's a uh, very fast, very sharp, as you notice uh, the shadow part, like uh, the identifies uh, his speed basically right so there you go this one oh gotta watch for those more grenades coming Woo! there here we go again all right there you go oh screw you man hey that was some kamikaze shit do you notice how many grenades he fucking threw over there? That's funny. Like, he just exploded himself, man. Alright. So now here we go, breaking the glass. Right? One, two, three, four. Ah, there. And there's another one. Ah, this stage sucks, but it was so easy. Right? At least we got some extra points from it. I just came back from uh, our own jam, actually, and Montreal. Oh yeah, Montreal, of course, is all about drink, beers, eat poutine, and relax. That's the whole idea of a uh, living like, like the French style, right? All right, so here we go. Now this is another. Mm, yeah, same character, see, like same shit over and over again. That's a, that's the turn off of the video game, like uh, over time. That's the only thing that I had to criticize. But um, everything else is really good on it. Like I uh, got no problems at all. I've been playing this video game since 1991. About the same time, like when when uh, Street Fighter came out, right? Where Street Fighter came out a year later, I believe. 
the thing about it is uh when i first got into street fighter i thought it was going to be like a final fight first like that it was going to be a beat them up video game and i was wrong about it it wasn't Oh, look at that doggy! Let's see, let's take a look at the doggy! Oh, look at that doggy! Oh, there's another one! Watch out! Wow! Oh, he got me! Nice haircut, hippie! Oh my god, three of them? The three of them? What the f? Arr, cut me so slow! <laughs> okay, here we go again! Ah! <laughs> Wong Hu. No. Ah. And there appear more of them. Them trackers. <laughs> I call them trackers. Oh. Ah, that dog sucks. He didn't do anything for me, man. Like, what the hell? He just let me let me eat shit over there like with the other guys. That's not fair. Bad puppy. Alright. Soft drink looks more like a beer. Well, that might be a soft drink. Alright, so here we are. Once again with these suckers. They don't even give me a chance, eh? No! Oh, yes! Ooh! Oh yeah! By the way, speaking of martial arts, did you guys get, get to watch the Cobra Kai? The series about like a, the Karate Kid, but uh, in regards to Cobra Kai? I hope that you guys did because it was a fucking amazing show man awesome series I just got to watch them yesterday all of them I couldn't I couldn't stop like it this storyline is so good if you guys are were fans of a karate kid go and watch it you will love the to hear the other side of the story of the karate kid and uh, in regards to uh, Cobra Kai so go and do it what else? Uh, speaking of movies or TV series or things like that, that's another activity I've been doing a lot lately. Uh, where I did already two gigs, which is a total of uh, 23 hours of work between Monday and Tuesday. Uh, I, w I decided to go back to uh, background acting, and I did pretty fine. It was pretty decent. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Many new new people, you know, like uh, that's the cool thing about doing background acting or acting. Yeah, uh, you get to connect with a lot of people in the field. And that was super cool. I came on the right timing because uh, I don't know, like it just I needed a break for a. I took a break of about four years without en re-entering to that sort of a, a activity, right? So it was a lot of fun, and I waiting like a, to see like if I get more gigs, and I'm about to register with another agency as well, like a, to have extra work. So that's why today. I did my things that I had to do. I erected the the boxing bag, like uh, the stand for it, so I can start doing boxing once again. And uh, yeah, like uh, I'm being keeping uh, active in different activities, and all those things they have to be related with martial arts, as you notice. Know so like, uh, there must be a reason why like I love martial arts so much. Like when it comes to all these sports all together and I also like a, I love the video games and the TV series uh, related to martial arts all together. One detail about this section here is uh, I remember they, they changed the part that I say sexy over there and they changed it to something else. I can't remember what was the word of it but if you guys have the time for it go to YouTube and try to find the differences of the between the final fight uh, of uh, the arcade version and the final fight version of Super Nintendo to see like if you guys are able to find the the difference. See that part there? Like I just got killed when I was about to eat the chicken, right? So I can be able to fucking continue my life on it. 
<laughs> and no, they didn't give me a chance at all. So I got screwed over. Fine, I'm gonna eat it now, okay? Even though I'm all. Uh, no, I'm not fat, I'm just a big guy, that's all. Well, who cares? That's Hagar, alright? He's a freaking wrestler, he's a massive dude, see? Oh yeah! Alright, so... So we're gonna end this section here. We're gonna advance a little bit more. Look at this motherfucker! What the fuck is that shit?! <laughs> fucking pyromaniacs! Like, look at that, how they're... Oh my god. <laughs> no, no escape. Yes. Oh, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> I love it how those guys, they have, it says bad in the back of it, and it has a radioactive uh, sign, the radioactive symbol on it. Alright, so, here we go to some final boss, I guess. Okay, let's see. Oh! El Gado. Doesn't make any sense, that name. So many knives. Look at them. Oh. Oh, do you see that? I broke up all of them. Oh my god. I never did that shit before. Usually I get stabbed easily. Like that. Oh, fuck, man. What the hell? Alright. And this is the doggy again. <laughs> no. I'm gonna get one more. So much food. All right, we're going excellent here. Yes. All right. It's only one sword. All right. The sword of Sodom in the sign of evil. Oh, oh, that, that guy, Abigail. Hey, like the album of uh, King Diamond. What the hell? Or like the Japanese band, Japanese black metal band. Yeah, I would say he's more of a Japanese black metal band. The way he looks like. Okay. Oh. No good. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, man, what the hell? Ooh. Oh, look at how much energy he took from me! Ah! 
You kidding me? No. no. Oh. Oh. You almost got Uther angry. Wow. I went in a roll there. You notice that? <laughs> and that was round five, ladies and gentlemen. Almost done with it. I believe this is the final. Could be. Yeah. Oh, well, that was quick. Here we go back to Guy. Okay. Oh, shit! Yes! Uh. Huh. Oh! Yes! Yeah. Alright, now we hop to the elevator. <clears throat> Here we go to the final level. Are you guys ready? Holy shit, that's a long ride. <laughs> what is wrong? All right, ready for it. Let's do this. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's go, Cody. Yeah. War. <laughs> I tried to practice like the sound effects of it. Well, that's part of the whole idea of it doing voice acting or whatever the shit like opportunities I get to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> War. 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 <laughs> Wow. <laughs> they own themselves. <clears throat> All right. Right. 
Ooh. All right, so we got to <coughs> the main palace to face the final boss. Very cool. Oh, my God. Bam. Here we are! Oh! A little bit more! Okay. Now watch for the dynamite! Okay. Here we go. This is perfect. <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh what the fuck I forgot about that part <coughs> oh man <laughs> Shed balls, shed balls. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I'm almost there! I'm almost there! Ah, oh, fuck you. There. Screw you, Axel Rose wannabe! Ah! <laughs> oh, they're coming all against me! Right before I'm going to the final floor. Oh! Shit, okay. Eat shit, motherfucker. No, not me, not me. Arr. Hey, that's so that slide. Arr. Your name doesn't make any sense. What the fuck is Elgado? Is it for the Elgado thing? Like, but two separate words? What the hell? North Americans attempting to speak, you know, Spanish or make up words. So they can confuse everyone else. <laughs> Right here. Oh, how did I skip that, huh? Okay. No. Oh. Shit, man. I bet more on this guy saying incinerate the whole building. 
Oh, here we go again, Mr. Dynamite. Here we go with Cody. This game is kind of like a, it becomes longer for some reason, you know, like it, sometimes it's kind of a bit too long, like it, because it, you gotta fight the same enemies over and over and over and over again, and it gets kind of tiring over time, you know, like, same shit, same shit all the time, same shit, nothing changes, here, <laughs> Now one. Okay, final boss. Final boss coming on the way. Here. Get your chicken, your barbecue, anything, whatever comes along the way. <laughs> because here we are in the final stage. Oh, and show no mercy for this motherfucker, okay? He might be in a wheelchair, but don't show mercy for this fucking guy with a ballesta on it. With a freaking uh, you know, a crossbow. He's gonna fuck you up for sure. He's gonna wheel you down for sure too. Oh. <laughs> Come here, you fucking asshole. See he can walk! Fucking guy. Getting all the SP we <laughs> for no reason, right? He's faking it! He's faking it! <laughs> Here we go. Okay, <clears throat> let's go with Hagar. So that girl that we're rescuing is the daughter of uh, the mayor. The mayor in this case is Hagar. Oh, what the fuck? Shit. Oh, man. Here we go again. Oh, do you see that? That's too much. It's not an easy fella. I think like, oh no, like this guy sucks. No bullshit, I don't suck. What it is, is I can't play in a war, but still. Getting this guy down is actually a tough mother freaking shit. Okay. There you go. Oh, we fucking kicked him out of the building. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I fucking love that part, man. No mercy for the wheelchair guy. Fuck, man. Poor him. Oh, father I was so scared. And so glad to see they didn't hurt you. I'm so sorry, Jessica. I thought I would lost you like I lost your mother. I'll never let anything bad happen to you again. Oh. I love you, father. <laughs> and there we go. So there goes the other two heroes along the way. Cody, Guy. And... That was final fight number one, ladies and gentlemen. I love this music, it's so relaxing. It's like from a, I don't know, from Final Fantasy music to where, what do you expect? It's Japan, Japanese music style, right? So these guys are actually like, a, as I said to you before, this video game was made by Capcom. So Capcom, Konami, they had like a, the most excellent video game music of all, right? What the fuck? What's that about? Where are you going? How can you just walk away now? What the fuck? I want to stay here with you, Jessica. But I can't. Not while evil still stalks the streets. Oh, Cody! <laughs> oh, man! What the fuck? Ah, always with their cheesy 
lines in the end, you know, man. Anyways, that was, as I said to you, one of the most fascinating fighting video games ever. One of the most fascinating beat them up video games ever, I would say. That was final fight for you, ladies and gentlemen, here at the Devil Cellar. So, that was it for actually for reviewing uh, one of the video games of today, where to show the gameplay. It's not really reviews, it's just uh, I like to joke around about different things, and I like when other people, they make comments about it, especially on Facebook, right? That's the main idea, the reason why I like to stream shit so everybody else has their two cents to put into it. Well, it was a long time without seeing you guys. I miss you all, trust me. But I'm back. So now we are more settled, and I'm going to start streaming my video games more often, all right? So this was episode 14 of the season number 2 of the Devil Cellar Classic Video Games. So, ladies and gentlemen, be ready for the next, the final closure for uh, episode 15, where, for the season, I'm not saying for the entire seasons, okay? But uh, for episode 15, I'm going to make sure that I'm coming with an excellent surprise for you guys to surprise you with something that actually like we never have uh, the chance to come across with. So how about we catch each other? We we, we catch up next time. Um, yeah, like I, I'm ready for anything. So this was Rodrigo Jagulado Rakio directly from the Devil Cellar introducing you to the popular and underground video games, classic games of all times. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for putting attention to, for your attention on this uh, streaming part. And stay heavy, stay metal. Talk to you later. Bye for now. See you.